The Greatness of Ascetics 21. The settled rule of every code requires, as highest good, their greatness who, renouncing all, true to their rule have stood. The end and aim of all treatise is to extol beyond all other excellence, the greatness of those who, while abiding in the rule of conduct peculiar to their state, have abandoned all desire. 22. As counting those that from the earth have passed away. Tis vain attempt the might of holy men to say. To describe the measure of the greatness of those who have forsaken the twofold desires, is like counting the dead. 23. Their greatness earth transcends, who, way of both worlds weighed. In this world take their stand, in virtue's robe arrayed. The greatness of those who have discovered the properties of both states of being, and renounced the world, shines forth on earth, beyond all others. 24. He, who with firmness, curb the five restraints, is seed for soil of yonder happy plains. He who guides his five senses by the hook of wisdom will be a seed in the world of heaven. 25. Their might who have destroyed the five, shall soothly tell. Indra, the lord of those in heaven's wide realms that dwell. Indra, the king of the inhabitants of the spacious heaven, is himself, a sufficient proof of the strength of him who has subdued his five senses. 26. Things hard in the doing will great men do. Things hard in the doing the mean as chew. The great will do those things which is difficult to be done, but the mean cannot do them. 27. Taste, light, touch, sound, and smell, who knows the way. Of all the five the world submissive owns his sway. The world is within the knowledge of him who knows the properties of taste, sight, touch, hearing, and smell. 28. The might of men whose word is never vain. The secret word shall to the earth proclaim. The hidden words of the men whose words are full of effect, will shew their greatness to the world. 29. The wrath tis hard e'en for an instant to endure. Of those who virtue's hill have scaled, and stand secure. The anger of those who have ascended the mountain of goodness, though it continue but for a moment, cannot be resisted. 30. Towards all that breathe, with seemly graciousness adorn they live. And thus to virtue's sons the name of Anthanor men give. The virtuous are truly called Anthanor, because in their conduct towards all creatures they are clothed in kindness.